Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to slay the princess. We join my live stream already in progress. All right, let's keep going. Bring the stranger to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And uh, in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Uh, all right, so we've tried slaying, saving, slipping away. Let's uh, let's try to um, uh, Maka, not now. <laughs> let's try to uh, separate the princess. Let's just try to leave her locked in that place. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Or maybe now, maybe let's let's just let's try to converse with the princess. Let's just have a little chat. Uh, the world, what are you talking? All right, we've done all this before. I just while I no! appreciate the men, nevertheless, and before you cause salad, it's no use unless of. Is there a? Oh, thank God, I can just do this. I had no idea. Uh, all right, sweet. I've always wanted some off the monarchy. Viva la That's the spirit. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. A warning. Yeah, she will love. Warning. Let's go. Yes, you've missed an entire, an entire journey. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted. The blade is your image. Let's take the blade this time. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather dip. All right, let's enter the... I just want to have it, and the idea of this one, just have The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is Thanks, probably Otar. doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. I think I think I'm going to be You know what this is going to be? This is going to be sass the princess. I'm just going to be uh, real blunt and like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Don't need it. Just gonna sass her. This is sass the princess. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. Right. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, I got this knife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a joke. I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to try and kill me. Success. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. Mm. She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. I might. I'm going to sass her. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Very true. But Sassiner? Mm. Uh, I feel like if I drop it, I'll get more talking options. So I might drop it so I can sass her. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Poke. Unarmed. We'll be fine. 
don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Huh. Uh, a relationship? Are you coming on to me? Oh, that's pretty sassy. <laughs> Uh, how would I get you out of here? Uh, I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There are people who think you're going to end the world. What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. No, no, no. Are you coming on to me? Sass. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Uh... Here is because you're supposed to world. How do I get you out of here? There are people that you're gonna end the world. You got anything to say about that? That's a good one. Uh, what's your name? How long have you been down here? Uh, got anything to say about that? Don't just tell her that. I just did. People think you're gonna end the world. What are you gonna say about it? <laughs> is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. Oh, yeah? People are sassy I don't sassy remember here. much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Just the whole ending the world thing. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. Uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and to be on more, to be honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I am to entrust them. That's not sassy enough. Uh, I'm sure they have their reasons. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Sort of. I'm, I'm just sassing her. It's not really my confidence in you. What if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to leave. Was that At true? the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. True. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Oh, yeah. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, Ooh. or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, sa yeah I'm just up to sass all over. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Hubba hubba hubba, who do you trust? So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim? The princess clearly incapable of ending the world. Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Mm. Okay, we've talked enough. That seems, that's, I think, the sassiest, but I don't know what to do after that. Uh... How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard right. you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. You're making it hard for me to sass you, and I don't... What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Oh, she's majesty. doing all the sassy. I want to be then. sassy. Uh, with the sa 
So being sassy is just kind of being like mean and uh, trying to get the rise out of someone, you know, coming at them with that kind of uh, better than you energy. I'm being sassy. All right, we're talking about. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? Sass. You know why you're here. It's a it's a very New Jersey saying. <laughs> Slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other a little better. Yeah, sass. That seems like a pretty good compromise. <laughs> she looks sassed. Oh, assassinate. <laughs> Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... Yeah. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Aw, oh, man, she's so sassy, you know? You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. I, I think it is more of a, a, an East Coast phrase. It's definitely an American phrase. I'm, uh, I feel much as I'm not in the base. Sass. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. I've already tried the other two, all right? So I'm doing this. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. <laughs> no one's happy, and I'm sassin. <laughs> You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. I, am I gonna get locked? Again? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Oh no. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. I don't think she's bluffing either. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Uh, no, we're sticking to the plan. Lock her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid, <laughs> afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. Um, yeah, sex me. It's never too late to do the right thing. Now hurry. Yeah, you're, you're getting. She's out of the chain. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. <laughs> look at that, look at that battle stance, it's good. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. We hesitated a lot. But she doesn't stop there. I just she want kicks to you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracture and bones, just want to you. making sure you stay Please. down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with Ooh. the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. That's a really good You have the talking. upper hand. And now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. <sighs> I'm getting so sad. Completely sassed. broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This I'm afraid it is. Oh, damn it. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2, The Tower. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to go, so... You're on a path in the woods, and at the... I will say, sassing the princess did not go the way I had hoped. 
I definitely lost the upper hand in my sassiness there. Uh, to be fair, he said it's never too late to do the right thing, so it's like he's saying, yeah, okay, gotcha. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so next we'll turn back with the tower. Uh, so it seems like, basically, my understanding is you, based on your choices, you get a new little voice in your head, uh, that talks to you. So we've had the voice of the smitten and the voice of the uh, contrarian. Uh, I'm guessing this time maybe we'll get like the voice of the broken or the voice of the vengeance and it'll be something about like not letting that happen again. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for more. So uh, be sure you follow me right here plus the number two comedy on Twitch so you can catch me whenever I'm streaming. Also be sure to subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on this and all my past live streams. And I will see you all next time. Come see me at MAGFest. Boop!